Hi, my name is Jim Marn. I'm a senior content specialist here at Kaplan Swasure. As you probably already know, the CFA Charter is considered a gold standard accreditation for investment analysis in the financial industry. But before you sit for an exam, let's go ahead and take a look at a few questions first. All right, first up, what is the CFA program? Well, the program is a three-part exam that tests ethical and professional standards, investment tools, portfolio management and analysis and asset classes. To earn a charter, you gotta pass all three exams. And on average, it's gonna take you about four years to complete the entire program. All right, next up, what is the exam format? Well, the level one and level two exams are multiple choice. They're formatted as questions, statements, charts, and tables. Whereas the level three exam is a combination of constructed response essays and multiple choice questions. All right, next question. What about exam scoring? Well, you're gonna receive results that indicate whether you passed or you did not pass. You're not gonna know how many points you scored for each topic, but you'll get some indication of whether you score below 50%, somewhere between 50 and 70%, or above 70% for each topic. All right, next question. What are my career options? Well, charter holders have careers in fields such as investment planning and banking, portfolio and stock management, corporate mergers and acquisitions, and business development. So what if you're considering taking the plunge and going ahead with the program? Well, before you do so, understand that you must commit yourself fully to pursuing the CFA charter. We hear from many charter holders that's not about the material being difficult, but rather the amount of time you need to commit to learning the material and then applying it to realistic scenarios. Well, thanks for tuning into this video. Please visit the Swayzer website for more helpful videos on similar topics and have a great day.